Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ebb Friday, and today I'm thrilled to dive into the world of color grading with my Vision 6 LUT packs, specifically tailored to the Blackmagic Cinema camera. Before we jump in, let me tell you about my Vision 6 LUT pack. It's a collection I've curated to enhance the color grading experience on Blackmagic footage, packed with cinematic looks and tailored adjustments. It's designed to make your Blackmagic footage truly pop. To get the best results, make sure your Blackmagic Cinema footage is well exposed and shot with intention. Clean footage provides a solid foundation for the Vision 6 LUT packs to work their magic. Now, let's get to it. Here we have a shot from the Blackmagic Cinema camera. It's in his Rec. 709 form, which is fine, but what we want to do is we want to convert this footage back to log so we can get the full power of this footage. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the camera raw section. We're going to click on the decode settings and we're going to click clip. And that's going to open up all of Blackmagic's raw feature. For color science, we're going to go to Gen 5. White balance, we're going to leave as is right now. Color space, we're going to go to Blackmagic Design. And gamma, we're going to choose Blackmagic Design Film. Now, as you can see, the footage is now in its log format, which is which is what we want. Now we're going to go to our nodes. We're going to add two nodes, Alt S. And on the very last node, that's where we're going to load in our Vision 6 film LUTs. You want your film emulation LUTs to be at the very end. All your corrections should be made before the LUT. So we create two different nodes. And on the very last node, we're going to go to the LUT section. I'm going to find my Vision 6 for Blackmagic. And on the top, you can see we have six different film emulation LUTs. So basically, make sure your last node is selected and you just double click to audition what these LUTs look like. So we're going to try the first one. That looks pretty nice. We're going to try the second one. That looks very nice. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. I kind of like the first one, so we're going to go with that. Now that we have our LUT applied, let's go to our first node, and this is where we'll make all our corrections to make sure that the footage is not overexposed or underexposed. So we're going to go back to our camera raw panel because I like making corrections in the camera raw panel. It's more linear and it works better with the camera's footage. So from looking at this footage, it looks to be a little underexposed so let's just bring up the exposure that looks pretty nice and let's see what the color temperature gives us so that's very warm that's very cold looks pretty nice too but just by looking at our scopes we're just going to balance this out make sure our skin looks pretty good and we're going to play it before, after. And that's basically it. Now let's move on to the next shot. So again, we'll just take this to a section where we like. So that works pretty good. Now we're gonna go back to our camera raw settings, make sure that our raw settings are tailored for the LUT. So Gen 5, Blackmagic Design, and Blackmagic Design Film. Now let's add two nodes, Alt S. On the very last node, we're gonna apply our Vision 6 LUT. So we're gonna click on the last node, go back to the LUT section, make sure we are on our Vision 6 Blackmagic LUT, and we're just gonna audition them. Wow, so this looks pretty cool already. Try the second one, that's nice. Third, fourth, Fifth, six. Huh. So I kind of like the second one. This one looks really nice on this footage. Now, looking at this footage, there isn't really much that I have to do. Looks pretty good already. But let's just, uh, by looking at the scopes, it looks like we can bring the shadows down a bit. 
So let's just bring the shadows down a bit. We're gonna go back to our first node. We're gonna go to our color wheels. We're gonna go to the log section and we're just gonna bring our shadows down just a little bit. Maybe bring up our midtones. before, after, and that looks pretty nice. Now let's try one more shot. So we're gonna go back to our camera raw settings, make sure all our camera raw settings are the way they need to be to tailor for the slot. And we're gonna add two nodes. On the very last node, we're gonna go back to our LUTs, click on the first one, that looks cool, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So I kind of like the two, three, eight, three LUT. So we're gonna rock with that. Now again, this looks pretty good already. There isn't really much that you you would wanna do, but I can, however, just play with the exposure a little bit. Maybe the color temperature, make it a little colder, a little warmer. But I kind of like that right there. And there you have it. This is how you use the Vision 6 LUT pack on Blackmagic Cinema footage. I hope this journey has inspired your own creative endeavors. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and share your results with the Vision 6 LUT pack. Thanks for joining me today, and happy color grading.